Good morning, Hope Kids. I am so happy to be here, and I'm so happy to be talking to you today about God. Um, and I miss you all very much. Um, I'm Miss Krista, and I'm here with Miss Rachel. And uh, today we're going to be... Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Um, Miss Rachel, I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I have this really big project that I'm supposed to do. And it's a little overwhelming for me right now, so uh, I apologize, but I can't concentrate. Um, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a little crabby, and I'm not sleeping very well, um, but <laughs> that's kind of usual. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm having a rough time. So uh, I remember a story in the Bible uh, that is sort of like that. Uh, someone who had a big problem. It's David and Goliath. And so the story goes like this. Uh, David, his brothers were fighting against the Philistine army, and David went to check on them. Basically, he was bringing them lunch and saying, hey, guys, how's it going? And he saw that the Philistine army was taunting uh, the Israelites, and basically they had this giant that was out there that nobody was willing to fight. They were so scared of it. He How was, big was he? He was nine feet tall and nine inches. Do you know how tall that is? That's super duper tall. That's like like the the deep end of the pool tall. Like That's tall. you can't even reach. Um, so it's so tall and nobody wanted to fight him. So David's like, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys just sitting around here? You're 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 doing nothing. God's on your side. Let's go fight this guy. Uh, he went to find some armor, but none of the armor that he could find like fit him. So he's like, oh, well, I'm just going to go out there anyway. So what do you think David did at this point? Like, how do you think David thought he was going to defeat this army or this giant by himself? Uh, there's no way. There's only one one way to do that. Huh. What's the one way? <laughs> I got it. So David went down to the brook. He found a stone and he put it in a slingshot. And because this is how he was able to keep lions and everything away from his flock of sheep. He had a slingshot and he took it and he spun it and he spun it and spun it and he let go of it. And it hit David or hit Goliath. Sorry, Goliath right in the middle of the forehead. And guess what happened? Dead. He fell down on the ground, and he was, he was done. David had Dead. defeated Goliath. This little boy, this little guy, had defeated this big problem, Goliath. And so this kind of shows that the Israelites didn't stand a chance against Goliath, their toughest enemy. But God gave power to David to defeat him. David reminds us of Jesus, who came to save us from the greatest enemy, sin and death. Jesus is our ultimate hero and the perfect king. He gives salvation and eternal life. Wow. That's awesome. That's so awesome. So it kind of reminds me of uh, Philippians uh, 4, verses 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. So, wow. I, I think that my problem, my problem is chump change. It's nothing. Give it's, it to God. Uh, give it to God. I like that. I like that. Well, thank you so much, kids. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys. We'll have a party. <laughs>